Hello friends, here I come with another video here that focused on IO linkers. Okay, so on this video I will give you some introduction or some basic information about the IO link because I have doing a video on IO link infrastructures. Okay, so here, as you see on the screen, this is the architecture of the IO link. So on the top, there is a Siemens PLC controller. And uh, on on this one, this is the IO link master that is from the IFM. That vendor from the IFM. And its model is AL1203. So as you see, this one. And uh, on the bottom, there are io link devices or sensor and uh, actuators so i i try to include their names to identify so they have the future of io link okay so the whole architecture looks like this one so let's go to the next. some basic let's add some basic information so io link iLink is an open standard technology that allows the user to set up point to point connection. That is also iLink requires no addressing. So the iLink infrastructure doesn't need the sensor addressing or actuator addressing. The other characteristic is the iLink is no field bus. iLink is not field bus. That means it's not a field bus. In the automation structure, the IO link is located below the field bus technology. So, when we say IO link is not field bus, field bus that means it's below the structure of Profibus, Profinet, and uh, Pro, uh, and uh, Modbus. So, IO link is also a bidirectional. That means data transfer is both in both directions from and uh, to the IO link master. So. The data transfer is from IOLink master to the IOLink device and the IOLink device to the IOLink master. Okay. So the another kind of, the another characteristic is the the connection between the IOLink master and the IOLink device is established via the unscreened three wire cables. And the wire length must must be less than twenty meters long. And uh, it's also versatility. It means it is capable of integrating uh, integrating to the existing system and uh, can communicate using the industry recognized Profinet, Profibus, and uh, Modbus communication protocols. Okay. Here is the IOLink IO link master and. Uh, Sorry, sorry. So this is this IO, IO link master uses as a gateway between the the PLC or the control and uh, the IO link devices or the sensor and the actuator. That is okay. The IO link master establishes the connection between one or several IO link device and uh, the field bus system and uh, the field bus system or serving as a gateway. Okay, IO link port, ma IO link master's port operation mode. So each port ha operation mode is described here. So the port may be, as you see, those ports. Okay, the IO link the, the port, um, the port mode is described here. So the first mode is the IO link. So the first one is the IO link mode. That means the port is used to connect or communicate with IO link device or IO link communication. And the, the second mode is the uh, digital DI mode. The port acts as the same way digital input device. This means one advantage of the IO link master is we can connect or use none the sensors or actuators that doesn't have the IO link feature. 
Okay. For example, if we take AC master, the scene cells and the actual cells must be AC unless we can't connect those things to the AC master. But in the our link device, we can connect other sensors that are that doesn't have the feature of our link. And the third port mode is the DQ. The mode the port act, acts as the same way to the digital output device. The port in the one is the port is not assigned to any mode. That means it doesn't connect to any device. Okay. I will link master error detection or diagnosis. So I will link one adva another advantage of I will link master is it can detect errors or faults. So can wire break be detected with I will link? Yes, the I will link the I will link master checks all the I will link devices within the communication cycle. If device doesn't respond, the wire break is immediately detected. Or if a cable break break breakage occurs, the IO master try to transmit the ma the message. If the message failed three times, the IO link master recognizes as a communication port. The IO link master sends error signal to the PLC or the controller. Okay, the other fault detection is can IO link sensor signal malfunctions? Yes. If there is uh, an error on the sensor or the actuator like overheating or other errors, those things can be also detected by, by the IO link master. This is done via the event test. Okay. So uh, IO link device transmission types. The IO link devices, those devices like the sensors and the actuators, their transmission type is also described here. The first one is the process data, that means the latest status of the sensor or the actuator. The, val the second type is the value status. This tells us whether the process data is valid or not. Device data, this contains detailed information about the device, such as the serial name serial number and uh, diagnostic. So device data is not transmitted automatically. This is transmitted when the IO link master requests like serial number or the diagnostic information. And as a fourth type is the event. So the IO link device sends the event when device triggers warning or error. So example device overheating or short circuit. Okay. Is is possible to use IO link sensors without existing IO link structure? Yes. This is the other advantage of the IO link technology or protocol. The sensors or the actuators that have the future of IO link can be used on on another uh, stru uh, structure or another. The network that doesn't have the IO link feature. Generally, IO link sensors also function without an IO link infrastructure. In this case, it acts as a normal sensor. The additional information is not provided. So we don't use the additional information. That means the IO link, uh, the IO link data. So we can use the sensor or the actuator. So here, as you see, sorry, here is some of the wiring for a temperature transmitter. For, so as you see, it is used for normal operation, also, we also on the IO link operation. So for the normal operation, the wiring looks like this one. Uh, for the IO link operation, the wiring also here here so for normal operation we don't use the IO link IO link okay so this is in also the other advantage for the 
I'll link structure or protocol. So I have done on the, all my information. Is, so I have already discussed the important points and the IO link. I want to say one thing. So the IO link is a new and uh, interesting simple uh, protocol that comes on the automation technology. Thank you.